Hello, this video is here to show you how to set up and use your PlayPosit account. So the first thing that you need to do, obviously, is go to playposit.com, and we are going to join. Once you get here, obviously, you're going to click I am an instructor and fill out um, this sign up here. What I re would recommend doing, however, is to sign in with your Google account because it just makes things a little bit easier and then you don't have to remember passwords and create a whole new account. It's just, they work with Google and so it makes things a little bit easier. I don't know if you can see this, but we're just going to allow. It'll bring us to our main home page. Yours will not look like this the first time that you log in, obviously because I have made a few bulbs is what they're called. The first thing that you're probably going to want to do is create a class. Um, this is what your students will use to view your videos and actually use them and answer questions and then you'll be able to see their scores and how they did on your video. So we'll just call this an example class and we'll do light purple because that's a color that I like. And so you should be able to over here on the left hand side see our example class. Obviously our folder is empty because we don't have any students yet. Um, if you go to students again, um, you won't be able to see any. And as um, a student, you'll want to give them either, as you see, I went up here to join class. Um, so learners will use this code here to join a class and they'll get prompted of that when they sign in. Or you can just give them a link and they can click on it and will be automatically enrolled in a class. So that's up to you, but that's how you get your students in your class. And you'll know they're in your class. For instance, we can take a look at one of mine. You'll know they're in there when you click on Spanish 2 period 2, which is the class I have this year. And we go to students and there they are. So that's how you create a class. The next thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is obviously create what we call a bulb. A bulb is what PlayPosit calls your interactive video. So it's telling PlayPosit to use a certain video and then it's you going in and adding certain questions to make sure that your students are paying attention and that they understood what you're trying to show them. So once you click on new bulb, it'll bring you here. Um, you can obviously use different bulbs that you've made or different recordings that you've done, but I think the easiest thing that you can do is just to use a YouTube video. So you can either um, go to YouTube like this and copy and paste your link, oops, excuse me, and paste it here, or you can search um, on the right hand side, it said YouTube and you can search that way as well. But it'll show a little picture of the video that you want to show and um, we should be able to add it after that. So there's here's our video um, and it'll tell us great job for adding it. And now is the part where you add the interactive piece to it. So basically what I recommend doing um, is listening to the video yourself and adding in questions where you want your students to really understand what's happening. Um, so for instance, if we are here and I'm watching my video, okay. The infinitive verb. The infinitive and I'm listening verb to him. The original form of a verb. Okay, so we learned that the infinitive is the original form of the verb. So now if I go to this little orange box here, I can add a question. And depending on what, if you have the free play posit or if you decided to pay for it, it's going to let you do different things. I personally like the multiple choice and free response just to see that kids are getting it. And so we can add our option and I think he said what um, is the original form of the verb called. Obviously I would phrase it a little bit better than that if I were doing this for my student. Oop, excuse me. And then we have to add our answers because we chose multiple choice. So I'm gonna put infinitive verb. I'm gonna spell it correct though because it's really important to spell words correctly. Infinitive, I believe that's spelled correctly now, or conjugated verb. And we'll say conjugated verb. And then because it's multiple choice, you are going to select the answer that is correct, and then you're going to save it. And then at 57 seconds, right after he said that, this will pop up for students um, to answer. And obviously, we can add more questions. You can do a free response, 
or you can do, um, excuse me, I'll add another question here. Um, you can do a reflective pause, you can do a survey. Like I said, keeping in mind if you did the free one or the one that you pay for, there will be different things that you can and cannot do. So you can add as many questions as you like throughout your video and you can skip ahead so if you know where you would like questions. So once we've added our questions, and I'm just going to delete this one, oh, pardon me. Um, so once we have our questions, we are going to be ready to finish and save our video. So we go up to the three little dots here, and we go to save and finish. And now your bulb should be the first one up here. And feel free, um, you can edit it and change the name so it doesn't just say new bulb. If you didn't like some of the questions, oh. you can always go back and change it. Um, but it will show up here in your first bulb. And then when you're ready, we go to this three little, this arrow line thing, and we go to share it. So you can, again, give it to kids to share um, using this link. And all you have to do is click and it'll copy it for you. Um, and these are the different settings that you can choose. If you're just sharing it to professionals, obviously we would click on this one because we don't want them to take it as a student. Um, you can require learners to authenticate depending on what you want your kids to do. So that's how you create a bulb um, and you can assign them to different classes as well. So uh, that's the basics of how we do play posit. Let me know if you have any questions. My email is weiss.megan at edsd90.org. I'd be happy to answer any questions for you, and I hope you enjoy play posit.